or above one, then we have free child care, including like a family literacy class at least. Um, so it's kind of a, a holistic program. With that, the education department also runs evening classes, um, and those, a lot of the people in the community attend those um, because they are also free. Um, with the ESL classes, if the refugee families come, they get bus cards, they get a weekly bus pass, so um, that kind of takes care of their transportation. So. Um, so that's the education department. And my program is the in-home tutoring, so all of the families who come can have the option of requesting a tutor to come into their home once a week and work on conversation, cultural adjusting, all that kind of stuff. So Carrie is one of our tutors. We have like 75 tutors in that program. So um, that's the education and the resettlement. Then we have a mental health department that has um, licensed clinical therapists, um, psychologists. Um, that's a voluntary program. We have group therapy, individual therapy. Um, group therapy might be like all of the people from this certain country who experience you know, this come to therapy together. There's movement therapy, they do children, like counseling in, in the schools. Um, that's the mental health department. And then finally we have the immigration and legal services. And um, I, with the refugee families, we service about 350 families a year. And with the immigration and legal services, they assist about 3,000 people a year. So they just have appointments all day. They're offering legal advice, um, helping you know, apply for green cards and, and other immigration type issues. Um, and those are also like lawyers and attorneys who then can offer that kind of service. So that's the, the majority of what World Relief does. Internationally, World Relief mostly focuses on um, like disaster relief, prevention of human trafficking, um, AIDS relief, that kind of thing. So right now we are, we have a big group in Haiti that's, um, that's gone down. We had an office there that actually collapsed and I think they, I think they said 38 out of the 40 people were coming for us. There were two that were missing, and I haven't heard anything about them. But, um, so yeah, there's a, like a group of our, some of our higher uh, higher level officials as well as like the ground team and doctors that are there right now. So, so um, that's yeah, we're moving internationally, nationally. It's mostly refugee work and then immigration assistance also. So if we want to stand up and take a little tour.